Big Fight, sponsored by 666bet.com. This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Matt Finn's Jim Marbella and Bet666. With me, I've got uh, trainer Jimmy Tibbs. What's happening, Jim? We're at a press conference. <laughs> good, press. good chance to get a look at Chris Eubank Jr. First time in the flesh for you guys today. How, yeah. How did you find him and how did you find the press conference? The uh, press conference went very well. Uh, the two of them were uh, bickering and barring about who's going to win and who's not going to win. Um, I was a bit surprised where he said he don't need a trainer and all that, but then again, I wasn't really surprised, I suppose, because he's a young kid, young man, you know, he's got a lot to learn. I think that was quite naive from his point of Yeah, it was quite naive, I think, saying that he don't need no one in the corner. Like, all he needs is Ronnie Davis to put a bit of S. I think that's undermining Ronnie Davis. Would you find that a little bit disrespectful to Ronnie Davis and to the work he does? Oh, I personally think so. I think he was a very good man round his dead for years. Uh, I'm wondering now, did he really train big Chris because of the way he's talking, you know? What, well, you think he just loved he, a bit of Vaseline? He's, he's not a trainer, you know? But anyway, apart from that, I think it's going to be a very good fight. Mm. Uh, I fancy Billy Joe strongly, he's going to win. Billy Joe's been in a much higher calibre of opponent as discussed yeah. in the press yeah. comments. Loads of unbeaten fighters. Do you think that will help him handle the magnitude and the occasion where... Of course. Yeah, Billy Joe's... You... Junior may not be used to this atmosphere. Yeah, Billy Joe's used to um, a big crowd. He's fought about five or six unbeaten fighters. Um, he always finds a way, Joe. Joe's a very good listener. He'll listen, but if he's not being told the right advice, he won't do it. Because that's what good fighters do. If they're not given the right advice, they won't do it. So, you know, that's the way, that's what's going to happen. He's going to be given advice, which I think will get him through the fight and get him, get, be a winner. How important is it that you've taken him away from distractions, home life, and he's had a proper, solid training camp? Away very, very, uh, very, very important. He's um, he settled down very quickly out there. The weights come off very, very quickly. In fact, he went too light at one time. Had to get a, put a bit more weight back on him. But uh, yeah, we'll see what he's eating. Plenty of rest, plenty of sleep, uh, plenty of everything that he needed, and plenty of rest. Would you say this has been the best shape you've got him in while you've trained him? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Do you think what Chris Eubank Jr. said today with, with Billy trading with him, and do you think that's his game plan to get Billy to stand and train well, with him? Of course it is. He's, he's just give away his plan, what he's going to do. He thinks he's going to chase Bill all around the ring. That'd be nice to watch because he loves it. People coming to him and jabbing their head off all day long. He said today about the amateur experience and not really needing that for the way of style he fights. Do you think that was, again, maybe could be perceived to be a little bit naive? Well, look, look at all the top fighters in the world. Your Golovkins and all them type of Russian people and uh, the Americans. They've all got fantastic amateur records. So it's got to be an help, isn't it? It's got to be a big help. And Billy Joe Saunders, when he was 19, he was number one in the world. Amateur. Now, that's a feat on its own. And to go to the Olympics when you're 18 years of age, that's a feat. Now, I know you've got me here and I'm bigging Billy Joe up. But we're not underestimating Chris Eubanks Jr. We've trained, we've trained hard for this fight, and we're very, very confident. What was your comment to him when you said you're one in a million? What, what did you mean by that? Uh, my comment was a little bit of sarcasm, to be honest with you, because he said he don't need this, he don't need that. I'm gonna do it all on my own, and I just went, "Oh, you're one in a million." That's what I meant. I didn't mean. I didn't really mean. Oh, you, you, Chris, you are a good fighter. You're one in a million. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I didn't think you did. To be no, honest. I didn't think you did. It's exciting this week, though, the fight week, isn't it? And yeah. Are you glad to be involved and Billy Joe's involved in these kind of nights? Of course, it's a, you know, it's fight week. Everyone's looking forward to it. Everyone's looking forward to these type of. Pre they should have done this a long while ago. These press conferences, if they had the decency to show up, but about they've got better things to do. As part of their job, is to show up. And they're, they're under contract on that. Did you find it a little bit disrespectful that you've broken camp, you've come out from Spain, yes. to back to England yes. with Billy Joe yeah. for press conferences that they've not turned up to? Well, yeah, I did find it a little bit disrespectful. I mean, it didn't upset our plans too much. We half knew that he wasn't going to show anyway. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't think he was going to show today. But he did. So pleasantly fair, surprised? He pleasantly surprised, yeah. Fair play, showed, and that's it. Listen, it's fight week, as I said, the excitement is all here. I look forward to seeing the open workouts this week and so forth. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a bit of time, Jim. I really no do problem. appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.